The Jalisco Nueva Generación cartel has grown very powerful in Chicago. After El Chapo's arrest in the Twins, I mean, think about it. They used to control 80%. in Chicago. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. You gotta support your homie, man. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Subanse la suburban. Yes, JC is back by popular demand. I put up a video not too long ago about the Sinaloa cartel and the Jalisco cartel. Who was more powerful? Who controlled Chicago? And was monopolized by El Chapo and the Sinaloa cartel for a very, very long time. A nueve acusados, entre ellos El Chapo Guzmán, su hijo Jesús Alfredo y El Mayo Zambada, enfrentan cargos por importación, distribución de narcóticos y lavado de dinero. Las autoridades no comentaron sobre si pedirán. Thanks to the twins, they pretty much created a system. Manos Flores a 14 años de prisión por tráfico de drogas. Ellos han sido catalogados como los informantes más valiosos. They own the plaza, that means they control whatever comes in and whatever comes out. For years, El Chapo and the twins controlled that market in Chicago from price to quality. A lot of shit's changing and El Mancho's moving in fast into Chicago. The DEA had an uh, investigation for six months. That's a very pretty small investigation, six months. And in those six months, they arrested 600 people of El Mancho. It's a lot of people, you know, on this side, you know, leading all the way into Chicago with a $10 million bounty on his head. He's the drug kingpin who lords over the most brutal, the most powerful, and the most sophisticated criminal organization in the Western Hemisphere. Ruben Osierga Cervantes, alias El Mencho, is a middle school dropout who now controls Mexico's fastest growing and deadliest drug cartel known as CJNG. You know, El Mencho made his move, just like in, in Scarface, you know? Oh, now you're, now you're making moves on your own? Oh, you know I have ears, I listen, I hear. <laughs> He made his move and he hit his, his he, he hit his target. You know, I, I know I know people. I know people that know people that know people. <laughs> that know El Mencho from way back in the day when he first like was coming up and starting. He started from the bottom and rose all the way to the top. The DEA reported that shipments to Chicago by elements of his organization, El Mencho have increased production of cocaine in South America. So what does that tell you? And I'm not just saying Chicago and remember drugs go everywhere. They go to South Africa, they go to Europe, they, they go everywhere. So the answer to the last video, and if you guys don't know what video I'm talking about, I'm gonna leave it in the cards. <laughs> it's hard to compare it. It's hard to compare the Jalisco cartel to the Sinaloa cartel. The Jalisco cartel, I kind of feel like Sinaloa has been in Chicago since like the early 90s, man. They, they know the Windy City. But is there room always for a new king? There's always room for a new king. There's always, in this business, that's why it's so cutthroat because people go to prison, people get killed, you know, people get set up and it's so cutthroat that there's always room for, for somebody new to take over the ranks. I mean, new roads, new ways, 
at least old roads, old ways, Sinaloa. Like, you know, there's there's always room for change. What I want to close this off, this video off with is this. You know me, guys. I always tell you the story straight up, raw how it is. You know, it, this was all a part of my life at one time. Just like prison was, just like gang was, just like a, a drug addiction, a sex addiction. I mean, you name it. I, I was a f complete fuck off. I always try to end my videos with a positive note and what I want to end this video with on a positive note not focusing on what he, what El Mencho did because obviously you know you have to do a lot of bad things to stay in, in power in those positions and the amount of money that you're making in those organizations this amount of energy into something good you could be whatever you want and you could do whatever you want so that's what I mean. Start focusing your energy on something. You have something to sit back and look at and see what you did, what you accomplished. Because remember, happiness is not money. Happiness is not material stuff. Happiness is none of that shit. You got to twist it if you think that's what it is. This is why the pursuit to getting stuff and education, money, business, the pursuit, that means the trials and tribulations, you lift, you get sore, you hurt, then you lift again, you do it all over again. The pursuit of it is what brings you the happiness. I don't know shit. I'm just JC. Hey. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, you only have one life to live. Live it out here, free, not gangbanging, not using drugs, not selling drugs, out here free with your family. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.